Hello everyone. Welcome to this next topic of three layer architecture of DVMS. In this topic we will learn that how most of the DVMS are designed in three layers and what are the advantages and benefit of it. So uh, let us directly jump to the topic. See uh, we have you have already done some practical in SQL and you have seen DDL, DML, DCL you know what is the structure of the table. So now you are in a position to understand this. As you can see in this diagram, most of the DBMS are developed as a three layer architecture. Number one is external view or external level. Number two is middle view, logical view or conceptual view. And number three is internal view or physical view. So these are the three main uh, components that are part of every DBMS. Let us see how they are uh, practically implemented. It is very easy. Let us come to number one that is external view or external level. So what is external view external level? It is very external view or external level okay or higher level so let us see it practically you must be remembering that we have created certain tables let us see those tables only very easy mca 2020 now we are login show user with user mj2020 select star from tab you can see there are number of tables okay student table my table let us see what is the student table select star okay so now come to the definition now you can see external view or external level you can see i have written view 1 view 2 view 3 or what users see so at this level user can see the data as per his or her requirement okay so what happens in external view at this level user can see multiple views of data okay now what are multiple views very easy see select star from student this is one view okay now if you want to see only few columns what you can type select roll number comma name from student this is what this is second view okay so select star from student is one view select roll number comma name from student is another view similarly you can type select name comma city comma age from student okay now this is displayed so this is another view so how many of them can be there there can be many or infinite so external view means or external view or external level means view of user data and there is no limit to it you can see as many as view of your data so every dbms is designed in such a way that user can view the data in any uh, format that they want to see okay this is the meaning of this first uh, layer which is external view or external layer or higher level okay now come to second conceptual level or logical level or middle level now what is there this is again very simple you can call it as middle view or conceptual view or logical view okay so at this level you can see the structure of table 
okay or you can call it as design of table or you can call it schema definition all these things are same and example is very easy describe table name so what is middle view conceptual view or logical view middle view conceptual logical view is the structure of the table or design of the table or you call it as schema definition so very easy so just now we have seen that how many external views can be of a table yes there can be many but how many logical views or conceptual view of a table just one like describe student so whenever you will type describe student describe student describe student describe student every time it will show you only one answer and you cannot view it in a different way okay so this is describe 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 all everything is same so this is called as technically it is called as actually logical view but you can call it as conceptual view also or middle view also or schema definition or table design or table structure or database design database structure so uh, this is your middle view so how many middle views of a table one okay and how many external view men so there is only one conceptual view of a table okay so and how many external view there can be many external views of a table so please remember the difference external view there can be many conceptual view there is just, there is just one now come to last that is lower or internal or physical view okay now what is this lower internal or physical view okay or lower level or physical level or physical view this is hidden from the user this is how data is stored inside the table which you cannot see okay as you can read out this is the lowest level of abstraction and describe how the data is actually stored it includes complex data storage and storage algorithms that is storage structures so this is this is coming to company uh, different and specific for example you cannot know how your whatsapp messages are stored inside your crypt file so similarly oracle will, although there is complete architecture available but you cannot uh, reach to the level where how these for example select star from tab so these are so many tables but in general you will not be able to find where and how these tables are stored of course you will come to know where but how these tables are stored the, it is an internal uh, proprietary method of oracle or mysql or db2 or ms sql server or whatever is the case okay are you getting so we we can only see the data how data is stored inside what data structure they are using they are using tree binary tree linked list or what 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 storage mechanism they are using it is hidden from us so we cannot see this okay i think this is clear to you that uh, what i am trying to say in case of internal view so we cannot see an example of internal view that how internally it is stored because it is oracle or any company's internal proprietary method to store the data okay so i think this is clear to you that what is meant by uh, internal view or physical okay you can see the theoretical uh, matter also written over there it is same what i have told you and um, i request you again to note these down in the copy and pro make proper notes out of it okay thank you very much Uh, see you in next video. Thank you.